The next step, we need to put in some other items. We have a door, we have a driveway, a road, and we have our building. Let's make a walkway from our door to our driveway. Start the line command. Type in near for nearest. Come down here with ortho still on. Let's come down 10 units. Type in 10, press enter and then come across the left here. And let's use the perpendicular O-snap. If you don't have the perpendicular O-snap turned on, you can type in PER for perpendicular. Press enter, and there you go. Press enter again. Now let's start another line. Type in near. And we'll come down again till it looks good. Well, before we came down at 10, so let's come down to about 15. 15 units, press enter, and come to the left, type in PER for perpendicular, press enter again, and enter one more time. And now we have a little walkway. So we're really putting this thing together. Now the architect knows, hey, here's a building, they have a little walkway, a door, a driveway, and here's the road. So the architect is going to be able to have a great view of what's going on here. Now we want to tell the architect where to put some of the plants. So we're going to need to create a planting area for him. So let's do that. We're going to insert some points randomly just on the left side of the house along the outline here. So we're going to use the point command, which is right here on the ribbon, the home tab, draw panel, and points. So let's put in about six of them or so. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can put them where you'd like. So there they are. Well, how's he going to see this? That's not real good. So let's type in the command ddptype. DDP type. Press enter. Now let's change it. Let's change it to this one here. Point size of 5% is okay relative to screen. And there we go. These are where he's going to put some of our plants. Now let's make another planting area all together here. Say, you know what, I really don't like these. So let's select everything and then hit the delete key. Let's go with the point command again. And this time, you know what, he's the landscape architect, or she in this case, it might be. And so let's just tell him an area in which we want everything to be planted. Okay, we'll pick some points then. Pick here, here. Let's say to tell him to just go around the building. When you're done, press enter and escape. Okay, so we want him to go inside here. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we make it even easier for him and let's draw a polyline showing him where to go. So with our node O snap, we will just connect the dots. Pick our first point, turn off the ortho command if it's on, and let's draw our first line. Okay, now we have our first line drawn. Let's draw another, and let's make it fancy. Press A for arc, press enter, and this will start drawing arcs. To our points, because who wants a flat square? Okay, now this is going to be a little crazy here. Probably more crazy than what we want, but that's okay because we can edit this. Select the polyline, click that midpoint, and stretch it out. We're going to smooth things out with these grip edits. And if that's the shape you want, then fantastic, then do it. If not, then you can erase all of these and delete them again, or move them around, or just draw a new shape. Now let's say on the right that we want to create 
a pool area. That's great. So let's draw an ellipse. The ellipse command is in the home tab on the draw panel, and it's right here. We'll just do a center. Pick a point, turn on your ortho command, type in 10 for the width, and then type in 20 for the height. And that's a nice little pool. Now, let's draw some stepping stones. Let's say we want to have some stepping stones go from our walkway to our pool area. Let's use our polygon command. A lot of times, stepping stones might be six sides. So we'll type in six for the number of sides. Press Enter. In this case, an inscribed or circumscribed polygon won't make much of a difference. But let's make them one unit. Press Enter. So there we go. We have a polygon. Now what are we going to do? I want to show you another command called Copy. Select Copy. It's here in the Modify panel in the Home tab on the ribbon. Select an object. That's our polygon. Press Enter. Now we need a base point. In this case, it's not going to matter so much, so you can click anywhere. You can even click one of the points on the polygon itself. Turn off Ortho by pressing F8, and then just pick where you want it to go. Make a pathway to the pool. When you're finished, press Enter. Double click the mouse wheel, and there you go. Now you have a roadway, a house, a driveway, a walkway, a door, a trail of stepping stones to your pool, and a garden area. This is a crude drawing by all means, but it's very basic and it shows you the types of commands and the tools that you're going to use in AutoCAD all day long. These are the basic things that you need to know in order to make drawings. Later on, we'll show you how to edit this and work with it and make even better drawings.